I don't feel right with you watching me. But you can stay. Because how am I going to be Martha Stewart or B. Smith and I can't have the cameraman here? Go on now. Come on. I mean, you don't need me. Could you start talking? Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am Felicia Lazell, your beauty, fashion, and lifestyle expert right here on YouTube. Thank you so much. First, I want to say I am at 81 subscribers. That to some may mean nothing, but to me it means everything. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for stopping in and seeing what I had to say and liking it enough to subscribe. So we are here today because I'm doing another DIY. And today I'm going to show you guys how to take a regular old school roller shade and make it beautiful. I just recently uh, restyled and redecorated my daughter's room for her 17th birthday and um, it's a bit of an eclectic kind of boho feel and um, she wanted a regular old school roller shade but you know me I wasn't gonna just you're not just getting a, ro a vinyl roller shade we're not doing that that's ugly so I had to find a way to make it look fabulous and of course I did I will show you guys that project in a later video but today I'm going to show you how to get these beautiful roller shades if you want to know how to do this no sew project stick around you'll thank me later All right, so let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys what you need for this project. First thing you will need is some spray adhesive, okay? A glue gun, because this is no sew. I have a sewing machine, but we wanna make this project super quick and easy. A roller shade, and I got these from Home Depot. You can have them cut professionally. You will need a curtain panel with you know whatever kind of fabric you want this is the actual pattern that I'm using for this project and I got this panel for $16.99 at, at home at home stores very beautiful fabric and it's an inexpensive way to make your window treatments look custom and then of course the trim that's gonna go on the edge it's a cute little pom-pom trim alright you guys ready to get started good I am too Let's move it to the flow. We are back and I have ironed out my panel. Okay. Now, one thing about this, it's a little easier to use a fabric that's flat. This has um, some texture on it. So it's going to actually add a little bit of um, height as the roller, as the shade rolls up. So it's not going to roll as smoothly as it would if you are using a flat um, fabric. Uh, so just be mindful of that. I don't want my shades to roll any higher than midpoint of the height of the window, so it's okay. Um, but if you want them to roll all the way up, you want to use a flat fabric. So the first thing I did was I mounted my shade and I did an inset mount. So I measured how far from the top of the window all the way to the bottom my shade uh, comes and that's 60 inches and you just want to make sure you cover that entire part of the shade with fabric so that when it's all the way down you won't see any of the vinyl. So that is 60 inches for me and that's where I'm going to start my cuts. Um, I'm going to actually have my sexy assistant help me on this project because I don't cut as well. He's going to cut the top of this hem off for me. Then we're gonna spray it with adhesive. We're gonna lay it on the vinyl and then we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna actually cut the edges as well. So right here, as you can see, we have the hubby cutting off the top and the bottom hem of the curtain panel. That's gonna be your first step. So we have cut our fabric um, at the top and the bottom. You wanna leave about an inch and a half at the bottom so that you can fold it under to finish it but right now we're going to attach the fabric to the vinyl shade when you're using the spray adhesive make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area because it is toxic 
make sure your animals especially the little ones are out of the way children so first we are going to spray this whole thing down this is my husband's favorite part because he hates it okay I like to use gloves for this part because that adhesive if it's toxic for your lungs I'm sure you don't want it to get on your skin and when it does it's very messy and disgusting I know these are like gold right now I don't wear gloves when I go out um, but if you cannot find them, the beauty supply store. Okay, so right now I'm just spraying an even distribution of the spray adhesive, making sure to cover every inch of the vinyl. And then you probably need another person to do this, but now we're just pulling the fabric taut and smoothing it out, just like, almost like if you were wallpapering a wall. And the great thing is you can readjust the fabric. You wait for it to get a little tacky and then you just smooth it out. It's that simple. Then I went in on the edges and just reinforced just a little bit more so that it wouldn't come up. And then that one each one and a half inch seam that you leave at the bottom, you want to go ahead and fold that up to finish your uh, the bottom part of your shade. Do that all the way across. And as you can see, I cut it <laughs> a little off, but it's okay. You won't see the back side. So now Sean is going ahead and he's cutting the sides that are remaining. on both sides see I reinforced the sides of the panel and what was remaining that was not sticking on the front side he just cut it right off it's a smooth cut you can use a rotary cutter for this I didn't have one now I am adhering my trim with heavy-duty hot glue I wouldn't recommend using a sewing machine for this project because vinyl is really hard. Unless you're an experienced seamstress, it's a hard fabric to work with. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I just want to let you know that that video is about three months old. And that was my first attempt at these shades. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of pulling from the fabric. They're still holding up though. And it was a really fun project. It's inexpensive. So I hope you guys learned from this tutorial. I'm learning as I go on some of these DIYs. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.